In this baseline review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this branding support tool. If you have any questions, please comment them down below, and I'll also leave a discounted link so you can always get your money's worth for Baseline. Baseline is a tool that lets you automatically generate a brand guide and design cohesive brand assets. Upon logging in, we come over to the dashboard. Over here, it shows us our designs and our brands, as well as an array of popular templates. We also have different templates depending on what we want to design, whether that's Instagram post, Instagram story, Facebook post, Twitter post, etc. Now, as we don't have a brand just yet, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create a new brand. So if we click on new brand, first you will enter the name of your brand. And once you're happy there, you just click on that's my brand name. You then have the option to upload an SVG logo. I'm just going to click no on this for now. Now, if you selected on no, if you didn't already have a pre-made logo, then it takes you over to this page where you can create a simple logo. We have different color palettes available. And if we hover over them, we do have the option to copy the hex or edit the color. I'm going to just select this one here. Here it's generated some different logos for us. We can see we've got all kinds of different texts. I'm liking the look of this one here. So I'm going to go ahead and select this. This takes us over to the color palette page where we can select our brand colors. You do have the option to edit them. So you could select it from the color wheel or you could go more red, less green, or you can select it from a chart. There's also the options of hex or RGB. Then once you've selected your colors, if you go on these are my brand colors, this takes us over to the gradients page, which is generated depending on our color palette. If we scroll down a little bit, we can see these generated gradients. Any gradients you like, you can just click on the plus. And that will add the gradient. And then we can go ahead and confirm that. Okay, so now this is taking us over to the brand fonts. Now, if you did have a custom font, then you could just upload this here. Otherwise, we can select it from Google fonts. We have options for a heading font, a subheading font, and a body font as well as having your standard options of italic, light, regular, semi-bold, bold, and extra bold. And once they're selected, if you just go on, I've selected my fonts. So here we can select our type scale so they can be consistent. So here you can play around with the base size. And as we can see, we've got examples of how it will look below, the scale ratio, and then you can obviously set your preview text. I'm happy with that, so I'm gonna go right ahead. As we can see, this has now generated our brand logo. If we scroll down here, we can see we've got loads of different designs and we have the option of downloading them or copying them to clipboard. Below there, you also have prohibited use of the logo, our colors we selected, our gradients, our fonts, our typographic scale, and that's everything. So once we go back to the home page, we can see our brand shows up here. So now we can go ahead and create a design. Now I'm just going to use a blank design for now, and then we'll have a look at some of the templates. So we can select from different social medias here. I'm going to go ahead and go for Instagram post. You then select the brand. Obviously, if you had multiple brands, more would show up here. So I'm going to select this one. On the first section, we have brand where I could add a heading, a subheading or body text. I can also add our brand logo. So I'm going to get that added there and you can obviously drag that around so it's central. We also have alignment options so we could put it to the side, central, to the right, to the left, up, down, etc. There's also options for transparency and advanced options as well. Below brand we have elements. Here we can add humans, we can add shapes, blobs, open peeps, botanical, summer, iPhone, animals, waves, food, finance, doodles, etc. As you've probably noticed here, they're all in the same green as the logo. So this keeps it all looking similar. Once you've selected an element, you can resize it and move it around wherever you'd like. If you wanted more of a specific section, then you can obviously just go on view all and this will bring up more designs. Again, you can obviously change the color set the alignment, just the transparency, and we have those same advanced settings. Below elements, we have photos. Here, there's a search bar at the top, 
and you can search for specific images. We could then drag that image in, resize it. We have loads of photo adjustments here. We have brightness, contrast, saturate, grayscale, hue. We can change the opacity, sepia, blur. We can set the background blend mode or the overlay blend mode. There's also photo filters below where you can select pre-made filters as well as the transparency and our advanced settings. There's also a upload section where you can upload your own image or you could upload your SVG logo. Below there we have templates. So the template section, you can actually work from pre-made designs. A lot of these designs as well, they're already incorporating your logo within them. So if I click on this one here, then we could obviously adjust the picture or the text. And there's loads of different templates to choose from. For this design, for example, we could change the document colors. We could select for the text, the selection color, etc. There's then also settings where you can choose your applied brand and the page width and page height. Once you're happy with your design, you can give it a name, select the zoom, and you can then download it. You can choose from PNG, JPEG, or WebP. Back on the home page, we can see our design shows here under the design section. Now below here, we also have templates. Obviously, we saw some of the templates that were available for Instagram post, but say if you wanted to use a template for another form of social media, then we've got loads of options here. We've got Instagram stories, Facebook banners, and Instagram posts. And that's everything. So what did I think of Baseline? Baseline made it really simple to create brand assets. It had a professional design platform and a wide array of different templates. I also really like how you could design your own brand logo if you didn't have one already. I would definitely recommend Baseline. Thanks very much, and I'll see you next time.